Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a part two to one of my current videos. It is the Defont tutorial. It is the first video that I actually have up on my YouTube channel. So if you have not taken a look at that, please go check it out. I will insert a card right here and I will also put it down in the description box. I explained how to download it off of a MacBook, but a lot of people actually don't know how to download a font onto your phone. It is a little bit different. so. That's that's why I wanted to actually make this video because then I could put my iPhone on the screen, which I'll put it right here. So let me make sure I am screen recording. And I am, so we are going to go into Safari and then type in defont.com. Um, now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna just look at some calligraphy fonts because I love calligraphy fonts. Also in my first video about the Defont tutorial, I explained everything about personal fonts and commercial fonts. I don't want to get into it too much in this video because I do want this video to be a little bit shorter. So now we're going to look at some of these fonts. Okay, this one, Mama is cute. I actually really like this. Oh, and it has those swashes also if you want to check out. I'm just promoting my whole video. Click the card right here and you can see how to access swashes on your fonts. So we're going to do this. It says the font is free 100% for personal and commercial use, which is great. So I'm going to go right over here and click download. Now once it's downloading, do you want to download? You will click yes. And then it doesn't show anything on the screen actually, which a lot of people are like, where'd it go? What does it do? So right at this, at the top underneath your battery, you'll have the down arrow pointing and you see right here. So you're gonna click on this and it's gonna lead you to all your downloads. Now these are some of the other fonts that I have saved. Um, I'm going to click on the zip file, which is mama for zip and then it comes up with a blue folder. This is usually how it is when you download a font onto your computer. You'll have the zip file and then it'll open up another folder. So you're going to click that. I usually download the TTF. I, I don't know why, I just, that's what I do. Um, so I click that and then you're going to click the square with the up arrow. Click that there. Go down. And then you're going to scroll all the way down here and it says save to files and you don't want to save to files because you're not able to access them. When I download fonts onto my phone, I usually download them because I'm using them for a thumbnail or I want to use them in a certain app, which is the app that I'm going to talk you about, which is Fonto. This app is what I use again for my thumbnails. I love this font. So we're going to go to more and click copy to Fonto. Now you could probably copy into other apps as well. Copy to Pixar, copy to Video Star, but I primarily use Fonto, so that's what we're gonna do. You don't have to watch the advertisement. So you can click install, installed successfully. I don't know why I just showed you. So we're gonna click okay. So I like to double check and make sure that it's here. So what I do is just add a plain image here. We're gonna click black, use, bam, and then add text. So after adding text, we could type in my name. So now let's go into the font and then it's going to be saved. Love you. Love you. So as you can see, these are my fonts that I have saved. The left side, this is all the fonts that are on Bancho's app, which they have a big selection. We're going to go into my fonts and it's right at the top and it says mama right there. And perfect and you can click done then you could edit it however you want Fonto I love Fonto because you can have a background as well with it so it's really customizable any digital thing that you are doing this is the perfect app for that and that is how you access your downloaded fonts onto your iPhone I really wanted to do this video because I've seen a lot of videos where it's either the outdated version or it's done years ago and there hasn't really been an updated version that at least I've seen that properly tells you how to download your fonts onto your phone. I also just rearranged my office as you can see. I didn't change this wall but I don't want to move the camera or anything. I could probably do an updated office tour. But this actually also is very beneficial for me because now I put both of the desks in the opposite corners and they're both where the windows are, which I love because especially when I take pictures, I love taking pictures with natural light and not artificial light. So it'll be really good and I'm really excited. Also, if you haven't noticed my shirt, this is my kale shirt from Beyonce's 7-Eleven uh, video. I did a TikTok on it, which is actually super funny. So thank you again for watching my video. I hope you loved it. And if you did, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button if you want to see more of my YouTube videos. 
and don't forget that bell button because she's very important. I will see you in the next video. Bye!